Let's listen to the president first. Remember, this is what makes this so fascinating. He made his name saying, I was against the Iraq war to begin with, and I'm going to get us out of Iraq as soon as possible. Now the president of the United States saying, U.S. military personnel going back in, but he adds an important but. I think we always have to guard against mission creep. Uh, so let me repeat uh, what I've said in the past. Uh, uh, American combat troops are not going to be fighting in Iraq again. I don't question, Olivier, the president's commitment to that last sentence at all. Combat troops not going to be fighting. But you send in advisors, you don't know what happens next. You don't. And the president may as well have been answering Nancy Pelosi, the Democratic House minority leader, who came out even before the president had spoken and said, look, this is the kind of deployment, deployment that has a way of swelling, of, of getting beyond your control. Um, I need a timetable or a timeline. I need precise goals. She was pretty critical uh, of this plan. Right, the Democrats are nervous, Jackie, and the Republicans see an opening to criticize the president more and more and more. Listen to them in recent days, they, they, not only questioning him on Iraq, but now they seem to have this broader idea that this president is suddenly soft on terrorism. The spread of terrorism uh, has, uh, has increased exponentially under this president's leadership. President Obama has always been a reluctant commander-in-chief. The president of the United States goes for fundraising and golfing, and now is fiddling while Iraq burns. Sharp criticism of the president, but do they really want to go well beyond what the president wants to do? The president doesn't trust Maliki, doesn't want to put U.S. troops in any big combat role in Iraq again. Is that what the Republicans are saying? That troops or airstrikes, what are they looking for? I mean, if you're talking about John McCain, yes. Right. <laughs> uh, but I think one of the interesting things about this is that, I mean, you remember during the campaign, um, it, it, Obama's foreign policy was something that a lot of Republicans couldn't touch. He had just gotten Osama bin Laden, and now... It, it's something that Republicans, as you saw, are, are attacking him at will. So it, it, it seems to be a weak point that they're going to keep on hammering him on.